This is Matthew from Toronto Eats, and we're in Leslieville, and there's a lot of things to do in Leslieville. I'm going to show you the six places to go if you want to eat and drink. It's the morning right now, so I need my coffee, and I need to read some comic books. So I'm going to go to Sidekick Cafe, which is my favorite spot in Leslieville. Let's go. Sidekick Cafe, located on 1374 Queen Street East. This is the perfect watering hole for comic geeks or big kids at heart to unite and enjoy a nice cup of coffee with the comic book or just hang out. It is the perfect escape to venture back into your childhood nostalgia. Hastings Snack Bar. Found on 5 Hastings Avenue, this little Polish hole in the wall sells homemade Eastern European comfort food. You can find passed down family recipes guaranteed to be full of authentic flavors. If you're craving a truly delicious cabbage roll, pierogies, or just a nice snack and coffee, this is the place to go. Although it says it's a snack bar, it's actually a Polish restaurant. It has some pretty cool Polish uh, breakfasts here. We have kibasa. Uh, we have a sweet progies, which I'm going to try today because I've only ever tried regular progies. Uh, and this is actually filled with blueberry or strawberry, so I think I'm going to get uh, the strawberry. These are the strawberry sweet pierogies. They're pretty cool. Uh, you can see the red from the strawberries coming right through the dough, which is really cool. And if you actually slice into it, it's got a nice pink center. These are real fresh strawberries. This isn't, this isn't jam. This is, this is fresh. Look at that big chunk of strawberry in there. Wow, this looks great. So we're gonna dip some of this. I'm gonna get the whole experience. What's good about it is uh, that it's not just a sour cream, it's actually a nice sweet yogurt. That so it goes perfectly with the strawberry. It's almost like a parfait with dough. Good way to start my day. Strategy. This sports bar has been around since 1989 and is a great venue to just hang out, watch a sports game with your buddies, and enjoy their signature wood oven fired pizza. If you and your friends are around 1130 Queen Street East and want to watch a game with some good food and company, come on down. Stratinger's has their own pizza oven, which is really, really good because a lot of pizza places in Toronto don't even have their own wood pizza ovens, but Stratinger's, a bar, does. It also has a great selection on its jukebox and great Batman 60s pinball. But the pizza here is what brings me almost as good as New York pizza. Nice thin crust, nice and crispy, but also soft. Perfect. Nice brick oven pizza. You can't beat it. Ed's Real Scoop. The scoop on this artisanal ice cream shop is that the flavors are 100% homemade and unique. Ed's Real Scoop is located on 920 Queen Street East and is home to over 125 flavors. The aroma of the fresh waffle cones wafting through the air will be telling you to come back for a scoop again soon. The best way to wash down a pizza is some Ed's Real Scoop. If you have a sweet tooth, this is the perfect spot to hit in Leslieville. A great selection of ice cream uh, with over 40 flavors. They also make their own gelato, which is sold right in the front counter. Oh my god, this is so good. But now, I feel like I could go for a beer. Salter Street Brewery. This fairly recent addition to the Leslieville roster of breweries holds its own distinctive beer. The Riverside Pilsner is their signature Czech style beer that cannot be missed if you plan on visiting here. You can see their tap room nestled in the back where they continuously experiment with new flavors of small batch beers found exclusively at Salter Street Brewery. Check it out at 131 Salter Street. So this brewery I'm taking you to is all the way down Salter Street. So you go all the way south and you turn right into this little small alley. It's really secluded, really small and really cool and I think you're gonna like it. Oh yeah, the pale ale is very, very hoppy. It'll go nice with some sort of pretzels or chips. It's uh, very cloudy. As you can see, you can't see my hand from the back. It's very cloudy. It's, got, it's very heavy in flavor. It's something you could probably only have a few of unless you really enjoy them. I think it's really great. If you only have one, this is like the perfect beer for you. And this one is the Pilsner. It's uh, a lot darker in complexion. Almost looks like a Rickards Red. If you're Canadian, you should know what that is. It's got, it's almost like a nice bronze gold look to it. It's very cool. This one is a lot, it's a lot more subtle, not a lot of hops. Uh, it's a lot smoother. This is, a, this is the type of beer you could have all night and be fine the next day. Unless you drank too much, then you'd be puking. But this is a really good beer. And it's, uh, 
and I'm probably gonna grab a few more after because this is it's so good. Broadview Hotel. This newly restored 127 year old building has transformed into a luxury boutique hotel right before our eyes. It has quickly become a Leslieville landmark. If staying there is a bit out of your price range, then be sure to at least tour around the place yourself. Don't miss checking out the views on their patio for an incredible view of the Toronto skyline. When I found out that they had something on the menu called Smokey Robinson and that being my last name, I had to get it. And it comes with, it's got Bacardi, uh, cross Jamaican rum, banana liqueur, uh, sherry and amargo chuncho flambre flambe I hope I said that right I probably butchered it but. wow it's very very strong it almost just tastes like pure 40% alcohol but it's got a nice uh, mix of flavors from all the varying uh, liqueurs and liquors inside also the way they prepare it is very nice they uh, torch the top of the rim and then when they pour in the cold, cold ice uh, mix of alcohol, the mixture between the heat and the cold has a nice smoke that comes out of the cup when you, it's presented to you. So it's actually, the presentation itself is really good. The drink is very strong, it's really nice. Now I'm gonna sit back, sip on this, and I'm gonna enjoy the view. 